Okay, leading up to our online guitar workshop this coming weekend, um, I thought maybe you'd like to try a little sort of mini snippet of the first snippet that I'll be teaching from one of my pieces. It's my piece called The First Ride. And I thought it might be cool to have a little something to practice before you come and visit on uh, September 9th. So uh, what this is, it's the very beginning of the introduction of the piece. So The First Ride's in an unusual open tuning. It's not that far from standard but uh, three of the strings do have to move a little bit. And it might be a tuning that you haven't come across before, because uh, I kind of made it up <laughs> a long time ago. So the high string stays where it normally is, at E. So we don't have to retune that one. I'll just double check my tuning. All right. Now, the second string goes up a semitone. I know that a lot of people get freaked out by that idea, but uh, don't worry, your second string can take it. Even though it looks skinny, it's actually thicker than the cores of your next two strings, your third and fourth. And you've probably noticed your third and fourth strings break all the time uh, whenever you try to retune them, but uh, the B string can take it. So we're gonna go up a semitone to C. So what we have now is the top three strings form a little C chord, G, C, E there. And we keep the G where it normally is. Now you may find that you have to do a little fine tuning as you go along because the tension on the neck goes up and down when you retune a little bit. The D string, the fourth string, goes down a whole tone to C. Don't be afraid, unless your strings are old. It should be fine, it should run down. Might be tricky going the way back up. So it'll end up sounding an octave lower than your second string. So this is both C. All right, your A string doesn't move. It stays at A. And the bottom string goes up a semitone. To F, okay? That's unusual too, but again, your bottom string can take it. Believe me, it won't break. So once again, from bottom, from, from low to high, it's from sixth string to first string, you get F, A, C, G, C, E. Okay, very beautiful. It's called an F major ninth chord. All right, so the whole idea here is to try this little um, picking thing that happens at the beginning of the, the tune. Now, again, it's kind of a pattern, but kind of not a pattern. It's not a pattern in the, the way that maybe you're encountered, you've encountered mostly with, say, Travis picking. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing a bass line that goes like this. Okay, so the notes we're playing are C, G, F, G. C, G, F, G. Now we play the C on the, the fifth string of the third fret, right there where it normally is on the A string. Then the G has moved, of course, because the uh, bottom string is tuned differently, so the G is at the second fret here on the bottom string. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm fingering that with my second finger, and then for the F, I'm just taking my second finger off. I'm not gonna bother moving my third finger because there's no good reason to move it. So some people, when they play this section, they do this, which you don't really need to do. You can just let the C ring by leaving your third finger down. So again, the bass line ends up sounding like this. C, G, F, G, C, G, F, G. So that, that bass line continues on for every bar. Then what happens is we use our I finger and then our M and A fingers together to form this little triplet pattern. So we have thumb and then I and then M, A together. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's how the picking pattern goes. And thumb is on string five, playing the beginning of the bass line. But now after every bass note, we're gonna play that little pattern with our right hand, so I finger on the fourth string, open, like that, so you end up with the same note, C, C, it's the exact same pitch, and then strings two and three simultaneously with M and A, like that. So the, the triplet is this, and by triplet I mean a rhythm that goes one, two, three, okay? So that's the basic move, say thumb, and then index finger, and then middle and, and ring fingers together. So we go C, same thing with G, same thing with F, and then back to the G again. But the rhythm is always in triplets, so it's one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. So here's how it sounds when you play it in rhythm. Okay. 
So it is a bit of a pattern, but what you see is that it's actually more of a bass line with the, the rhythm in between bass notes filled in in triplets by breaking up a chord. So instead of doing what's called a rhythmic arpeggio, it's kind of cool. It's different from regular picking pattern. Let's try it one more time. And this is something to practice leading up to the guitar workshop this weekend. So we go string five, string four to, you know, like this with the first finger, and then three and two together with the M and A fingers. So try it together in rhythm. One, two, and three, and four and one two three two two three three two three three one two three two two three three two three four two three okay. so that's a little taste of what we'll what we'll be working on the very beginning of what we'll be working on in one of my tunes my tune called The First Ride. So we'll see September 9th through 11th here at the online guitar workshop, Thumb IQ with jamplay.com. <laughs>